What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Ori version 2 MIUI and I did make a video on the version 1 but there was a couple of bugs. The bugs which were present on the version 1 was shifting it was not passing properly. Then the app lock did not work and stuff and all those bugs that I have tested are fixed. I'll show you everything. So first of all, let me show you in the about section. This is how it looks like. We have the MIUI Ori version 14.0.1 and here the version 2 is mentioned if you're noticing so yeah this is the MIUI version 2 ori and here the android version is still of course android 12 and the security patch is first of february 2023 and the flashing guide will be present in the description so you should not worry this is how the home screen looks like of course it has this newer kind of widgets where you get this kitty and stuff and it does some kind of animations as you can see you can add these widgets from the like widget settings i've also added this one the puppy and yeah you can do these kind of stuff it looks cool i would say in the home screen and here let me show you these three folder sizes are present as this is a miui 14 so yeah you are getting all of these customizations also the battery widget and the clock and the weather widget everything is working fine here you should not worry about it to the left of the home screen we do have the app vault and it is working fine you can add any other widgets that you are willing to from right here and here let me actually show you swiping up we'll get to the app drawer Talking about the stock apps, these are the stock apps present by default here, but the PixArt and the FreshWalls are there because I was downloading my Google App Data Backup, but the other apps are present by default here. Now on the stock launcher settings, you will get plethora of customizations. Again, I have showed you everything about this in the version one video, so you can watch it, but yeah, I'll recommend this animation speed to fast and you are definitely getting this like minus one screen and stuff but here let me show you the recent panel is like ios as you can see and the recent panel i did not show you properly in the previous video so let me just do that let's just open some apps like twitter and here let's go to the follow section and here if i just open it as you can see it shows the ram status on the recent panel just like this and it is very fluid experience in the recent panel just like the ios kind of recent style here you are getting also if you just tap and hold on it you will get this split screen option and that is actually working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever with the recents like uh, over here and the split top mode and stuff or the split screen mode are working properly you do not need to worry about it also let me show you one more thing there is the floating window and if you just do that as you can see this app stays in a floating window and you can pin it on a corner of the screen and stuff and you can remove it from here so all these options are present we also have this app locking option then we have this app info option right here and i have locked these two apps because i don't want them to get removed from memory but yeah all these features are there for the recent panel now talking about the stock camera everything is still working and this is a miui camera present by default of course we have the slow motion up to 1080p 960fps and of course we do have up to 4k 60fps video recording and stuff all those things are there and there is a beautification mode for even video but there is no pro mode video over here you have to keep that in mind but otherwise we have the front camera and stuff working perfectly fine even in portrait mode so you do not need to worry about it talking about the quick setting panel this is how it looks like now earlier i think the brightness and the sound kind of panel was towards the right but right now it has been switched to the two separate sides and you can actually adjust the brightness just like this very seamlessly so yeah this actually looks cool in my opinion and we have this sound toggle just like this also the volume panel looks like this and this has this frosted glass kind of effect if you tap here you will get this again ios style kind of volume panel over here looks beautiful i would say also in the quick setting panel we get the wi-fi right here and you can just connect to different wi-fi networks and the mobile data is there also and we have the bluetooth and the torch lock orientation screen recording option and the battery saver do not disturb etc options the data saver and stuff is there and you can edit and add multiple toggles if you want also the smart devices will appear on the bottom if you add them the DNM info stays as L1 here, so you don't need to worry about streaming Netflix or Amazon Prime in 1080p. Also, the safety net passes right out of the box, so this has been fixed, and right now you can use banking apps over here right out of the box. Also, you do get the Google Photos unlimited backup over here, no problems with that. And there is the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen, no issues. And here, double tapping to wake will get you to the lock screen. And this wallpaper I have started from the like system wallpapers, I'll show you that. But fingerprint scanner over here is working perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever even face unlock i have tested that but yeah it is working and here so right now it's showing the finger bit scanner kind of area in the app lock earlier it used to show only that pattern kind of entering option 
I would say in the version one because this finger mid scanner area in the app lock was not working but here it is actually working perfectly fine you do not need to worry about app lock here also in terms of settings it is much more similar and it is organized in every way so you do not need to worry there is the additional settings you will get all these features over here you can look for them so pretty much I would say everything is sorted over here and in the apps you will get the app lock the dual apps manage apps every option out there and in the password and security you will also get the face unlock and stuff and while I'm onto it, let me actually show you the face unlock as well. So yeah, as you can see, it is working perfectly fine and the unlocking speed is blazing fast. No issues whatsoever with the face unlock either. Talking about battery life, yes, I have tested it with the Aku battery app and with that, as you can see, my battery health is at 91%. I have a new battery over here. It shows that screen on time is estimated for about seven hours. So yeah, the estimated screen on time is not too much but if you use the phone heavily this will be your estimated screen on time pretty much so six to seven hours of screen on time over here that i'm getting and even the combined use and the screen off use you can see the standby time you can say so overall the battery life is decent also the fast charging is working perfectly fine you do not need to worry about it talking about the wallpapers let me actually show you that the super wallpapers are still not downloadable as you can see i cannot really download them even from the more settings but if you just scroll down, there are the MIUI 14 kind of wallpapers, just like these. Also, there is the Aperture video kind of wallpapers. And you can just apply it for the lock screen or the home screen. But in the home screen, when I applied it, it just keeps animating. It looks weird, as you can see. So yeah, that's why I will suggest sticking it to the lock screen. Because in the lock screen, it just stops the animation after it does that for once. So yeah, this actually looks beautiful in multiple colors. It, you can get it. Also, there are these Demon Heish or something. They look beautiful again. And also, these wallpapers are there. There is these Concreto kind of wallpapers. And these crystallized kind of wallpapers are there. And it actually needs a little bit of internet, I guess, to actually get downloaded. But yeah, we have these live wallpapers if you want to apply them. Plethora of options are here. Let me go back. We have this minimalism wallpapers. Also this OD specific version of wallpapers and some colorful stone wallpapers, I would say. And these are the MIUI kind of wallpapers that you should be familiar with. Of course, with the themes app, you can download even more wallpapers that you would like. Now, overall, again, the performance has been good and overall experience for daily driving should be good. If you like MIUI, this is going to be one of the best experiences for you guys. And the animation and stuff everywhere, it just shows smooth. Just notice how smooth it is for the animations. And here are the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the latest benchmarks on the latest version to OD ROM for the Redmi K20 Pro. Now you do get the MIUI dialer and stuff over here. So the call recording and stuff should be working fine here. If you insert a Vault SIM card, they should be working fine. Also the Mi messaging app is there and it is very seamless experience over here. And you will get multiple options like these to add. So yeah, this is great. The MIUI messaging app is also there. So you are getting all the MIUI kind of features over here. And of course, the three finger screenshot gesture and stuff, all those things are there. And in the gallery app, you will get multiple things like these markup kind of editing option. And there is a pin and stuff. Then in the gallery app, there is the photo editing and the video editing kind of features that I have showed you in the version one of Ori. So you can use that also. Right now, I would say the MIUI version two of Ori is one of the best stable ROMs for the Redmi K20 Pro if you want MIUI 14 and if you want Android 12 and stuff and the features of MIUI 14, all those things are present over here. So you can definitely use it if you like MIUI. And this is again a stable experience. Every bug that was there in the version one has been fixed. So this is what I think about this ROM. Let me in the comments, what do you guys think? And subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.